Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, February 27th to the 28th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave today. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Don't forget to comment as well right down below and let me know if this resonates with you. All right. Let's see what's going on for my Libra friends here. Ooh. Your card, one of your cards, the Ten of Swords. Um, don't forget that energy and time are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. Ooh, interesting. Okay, one more card, and then I'm going to get a message from Spirit before I begin here. Oh, there we go. The Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, two sixes there, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Talk about black and white, right? All right, let me get this message, and then we can start. I'm hearing total eclipse of the heart. Now that's a song from the 80s. Look it up. Look up the, the lyrics. I gotta write this down. I love looking up lyrics when they give me music. Set in your ways. Some of you are set in your ways. And you don't want to budge. Step outside your comfort zone, Libra. Even if this makes you feel unbalanced for a minute. Right? They're saying step outside of it. And you'll be surprised at what you find. All right. You get two sixes here. Now, sixes for me as a reader always indicate to focus more on the spiritual than the material. You can't take it with you. Hmm. Interesting. This Ten of Swords here is pulling me. It's like out of the darkness came the dawn. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe that's what... Maybe that's what I'll name this. Okay. Out of this betrayal, Ten of Swords is betrayal, backstabbing, lying, right? So out of this Ten of Swords, the feeling of being backstabbed, um, it's like you found self-love. You may also have found love beyond the betrayal. You realize that this was not an even give and take relationship with the Six of Pentacles here. Notice this three on one side, two on the other. So you went away from this. You moved on to a more peaceful place. You could have literally moved as well. So let's clarify, Libra. Clarify the six of pentacles. Yeah, two of pentacles. It took you a hot minute to, to come to that decision to... Um, Realize this is not a balanced relationship. I need to leave. Okay. Yeah. 
Seven of Swords. They may have cheated, lied, stole. I think that was the final straw. I think things happened before then, but it's like, you're very fair, Libra, so you will give people the benefit of the doubt. But there comes a certain point where it's like, nah, I can't do it anymore. Clarify the um, Six of Swords here. Eight of Swords. You were wrapped up in your head for a minute. This was a prison of your own making, right? And this did leave you feeling unbalanced, which is why the Two of Pentacles is there. Oh. Yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. I believe you found out this person was stepping out on you on the relationship, so you turned around and you left. You have two eights here. This could have been a twin. We'll see if any other uh, cards pop up. Can you clarify the Ten of Swords? What happened? What happened? Seven of Wands. Well, you stood up for yourself and you set boundaries. Five of Pentacles. They may have left you out in the cold. Because of that, they didn't like that. King of Wands. And you're very, I feel like this is you. You're very confident, very sexy, very um, knowing what you want, going after what you want. That's fire energy, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I feel like you saw what you wanted and you're very sexual too. I feel like there was a strong sexual attraction between you two. And this may have been one of the reasons why you stayed for as long as you did. Clarify this King of Wands. Oops. Boom. Okay. Take them all. Wow. You've got the Page of Cups, the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you found this out. Depression, regret set in, right? They may have even come back and apologized. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. But no, there were too many hidden things here with the High Priestess. The High Priestess keeps her cards very close to her chest. Gemini, Pisces for me as a reader. This does talk about um, listening to your intuition. Is also a twin flame card of mine. So it could totally be a twin. And the Two of Wands here. And I always see the Two of Wands sometimes as looking like an 11, right? Twin flames. So you had to make a decision. And I... Feel like you chose you. You chose you and you left them behind. Clarify this Ace of Cups. Let's see, maybe let's see. Let's see if new love comes in for you. Yep. Look at that. Your mates. This is you. I told you. King of Wands. And look what you found. Peekaboo. I see you. Yep. You found you and self-love. And then the Queen of Wands came along. Aries Leo Sagittarius. She's the temptress of the deck. She's sexy and confident and creative and intuitive and knows what she wants. Could be involved with the spiritual. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Yeah. Ace of Swords and Temperance. This is your balance point. You found balance. You found truth. You found clarity within this relationship. Temperance. An angel guided you together. This was divinely orchestrated. Whether you know it or not. This was divinely orchestrated. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I saw a card flip out. Yep. Okay, let me get this card. Is there a couple of them? All right, that's the second time tonight that's happened. This two of wands that I just showed you, right? A minute ago, that popped out. I showed you. I put it down. 
I'm shuffling, and then all of a sudden it ends up in the freaking deck again. It happened with another sign. That's so funny. And I was just saying in one of the videos, um, like these cards are wearing out, right? Like, let me get like the names of the cards down below. Look. See? Like you can hardly read it. So I was saying how I like the cards when they're older because they get the, it's like the more I connect with them, the more magical they become. Um, and then shit like this happens. It's like they play or they do it to make a point. So this two of wands, this was a, this was something prominent in your life. This took a, 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 you took a long, hard look at this connection and what you needed to do. So what is your advice? And I'm just going to get your advice for this Queen of Wands because, you know, dead and gone. So I can I have some advice for the Queen of Wands for Libra? Ooh, listen to that rain. I love rain. I listen to thunderstorms every night. Rain. To bring up a YouTube video. I just, I, I love it. I can't get enough of it. I used to as a, as a kid. All right, the Empress. The Empress, this is you, Libra. This is you. Stand in your power. Know your worth. Expand. Fertilize. Fertilize. Whatever you touch will turn to gold. So touch it. Well, that's kinky. But you can do so. The king and queen of wands, man. That's some fun shit. They're adventurous. They're fun. They're creative. They're sexual. Oh, yeah. All right, Libra. I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe. If you already haven't, have yourself a fantastic day. And I will talk to you tomorrow.